Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Like an angry squirrel, we're after your nuts. But unlike an angry squirrel, we're bringing you a roundup of showbiz news, a cornucopia of curios from the internet, and another unmissable life lesson. But before we scamper up that tree, flicking our tails, let's talk to the man who never shares his nuts. It's Lee. Never share them, and they're always angry. Mm, and red. Yeah. I'm back with some exciting showbiz news, including a story about how one celeb's oral habits are up for an award. And I've got some stories from the internet, including a tidbit about the completion of a six-year mission. You can still while away the wee hours with us. Just search for at the Could TV on social media. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your podcast service or watch us on YouTube, where you can also subscribe by pressing on the little bell. So, Mike, after brisk, brave brigadiers brandished broad, bright blades, blunderbusses and bludgeons, balancing them badly to sit in a solemn silence in a dull, dark dock, remembering if you must cross a coarse cross cow across a crowded cow crossing, cross the cow coarse cow across the crowded cow crossing carefully. And don't forget that from the crypt of the Church of St Giles came a scream that carried for miles. Said the vicar, good gracious, has Brother Ignatius forgotten the bishop has piles? And on that bombshell, I need to ask you, have you seen my keys? House? No, we're not playing bingo. No, but we are playing. Game of the Week. Seamless, that was, Mike. Seamless. Well, the producer can't be with us today, as he's been asked to join a pleasure cruise. He said he can't wait to get all aboard as he weighs anchor, sits on the poop, and finds himself surrounded by floating semen. File. So, Lee, the producer wants you to stretch yourself as we dive headlong into... It's Lee's turn this week, and we're going to ask him to play homage to the people who create sound effects for television and film in a game we call Foley Folly. So sashay away in a swish of sequins while I explain the rules. Can I not just do it from here? No. You won't. I hate you. I know you do. Our random sound effects generator will come up with some scenarios, and all Lee has to do is reproduce the phonic soundscape, transporting you and I to that high-fidelity, Dolby Digital auditory landscape. It sounds so much more than it is when it's described like that. Are you ready, Lee? Dripping with anticipation. Dripping. Are you mildly moist? Gushing. Shall we get the first one up, then? Let's do it. Dolphin having sex? Not having sex, just a dolphin. Having oh. a nice time with itself. Well, sexy time for one, still sexy time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Walk! 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 Oh, not all of them. Walk! Oh! Walk! Quack! Are you fisting ducks? I am the duck that is receiving the fisting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't far off. No, not far off. No. I'm just slightly concerned that I managed to get that one. Well, okay. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Oh my God. Nobody else is here. Oh, it's a bit red. Bit, bit dusty. Not sure what I can do with this. But you know, it's got potential. That flight, ooh, took ages. But you know, I'm here, I'm glad I beat the others. Got there first though. Yee! Let me take my helmet off. Oh no, I shouldn't take my helmet off because there's no oxygen. Completely die. So yeah, here I am. <laughs> Catch the pigeon. What? No. That's, it's the first man on Mars. Oh. Does it make sense now? No. No, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> it sounded like they were in a race. <laughs> That's where I catch the pigeon. <laughs> okay, next one. Get off my makeup, you slag! <laughs> it's you before we start recording a show. <laughs> Close. Okay. But not really, no. Ricky! Have you seen my foundation? Oh, where's my little willy? I'm sure I put it here for... <laughs> Should I put it here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's a whole generation of people that don't know what a little <laughs> willy is. That's the last time I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking you were talking about a small penis. Is it EastEnders? Mm-hmm. But where? In the makeup room. It is. Yeah. Good for you. There we go. <sighs> Should we get the next one up? <laughs> yeah. If this doesn't end my career, then nothing will, this one. Oh, I can feel it coming. Oh, I've had my heel. Oh. oh, there it is. Uh. Are you constipated? No, not me. Oh. oh, I'm just sat here reading a copy of um, uh, Tilly's Weekly, getting me content for next week. Um, uh, Is it me being constipated? Yeah, kind of. Ah. It's, it's you on the toilet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't strain. It just falls out. Okay. Very loose. Should we get another one up? Yeah, please. Um, okay. Um, hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? I'm all right. Did you have to come far? No. You don't look like you do on your Tinder profile. What would you like to drink? <gasps> Sheep on a blind date. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sat up here. It's very, very high. Oh, I'm, I'm very delicate. I better not. I hope I don't. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm wobbling. I'm wobbling. Oh, oh, oh. Crack. The end. And scene. Is that you after you've had a glass of wine? No. Um. Da, 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 da. No, that's not it. Um. <laughs> Were you just doing Pop Goes the Weasel? Yeah, I mean, that's not the, that's not the tune. What, what tune are you thinking of? But I'll give it away then. Do the tune you're thinking of then? It's kind of the same as Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it turns into, I don't know, I can't do it. I, I know, we've been buzzed. Buzzed. Yeah. It's Humpty, tum, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Sat on a wall, pop goes the weasel. <laughs> I Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Yeah, but how does the song go? The King's Man couldn't put Humpty together again. I don't know, it was only ever rhyme for me. I'm not too. Let's do the next one. Okay. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm ruined. Good Saturday night out. No. What? Mm. Let me finish. Okay. <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about you? Oh, that that they used to insert me is giving me a right rash. I'm going to have to put myself in the uh, in dishwasher to go. Oh, I don't know. I've gone read northern, but I have. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. How many? How many inches did they get inside? Oh, to the hilt. To the hilt! I'm looking forward, <laughs> looking forward to a rest today. And scene. <laughs> no! <laughs> All I can think of is a very used vibrator. Well, kind of. Okay. It's two dildos after a sex party. <laughs> I worry about that, you. I I'm not the one who comes up with these. <laughs> the reads about though. Let's move on. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Okay. 
Oh, is it my turn to go across? Is it your turn to go across? Oh, I don't know. But how, how can we... Oh, will I not go invisible? Will I not walk on it and disappear completely? Oh, I don't know. You have a go for... Zebras going across a zebra crossing. Yes! And the answer is no, they wouldn't go invisible because they're black and white striped. So when they stood on the white one, they'd show up the black stripes. And when they show up on the black one, they'd show up the white stripes. All right, Poindexter. Still to come, we have our life lesson. And just after the break, we have Lee and the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we go to the man whose only flaw in life is that he's perfect. Now it's the man who knows how to get himself bigged up in the scripts. It's Lee and the Showbiz News. What are you after? Nothing. Okay. It's suspiciously nice. It's not something that happens often. Feeling awkward. Let's do some... <laughs> Don't do that click-click thing. It makes me feel... <laughs> it makes my testicles go back inside me. Um, so, let's do some showbiz news. Uh, let's, let's. Ha have you ever watched a Nigella Lawson programme? I love Nigella Lawson. Well, um, she... It's, it's news that none of us expected this year, but she's being nominated for a BAFTA. All right, Nigella's been nommed. She's been nommed for a BAFTA. Not for an entire show, not for an entire series. OK. But for a tiny sentence out of one of her episodes. So she, it, Was it the one where she says, I, I, we separated completely amicably? And, no, 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 no. no. It it's all about how she pronounced microwave. <gasps> so I assume I you this. have watched this. I love this. Um, we've, we've got a picture of her here. Of the, of the Nigella. Of the Nigella. Look at that. She, you know, she's 60. I know. I mean, oh, hello. I, was I mean, say ding it's... dong, I'm not down there, but <laughs> literally, I'm not, I'm not down, down there. there. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, turn me. I was going to um, say, what? Well, the, the truth of money will make you look pretty. Oh, uh, that's a bit mean, Mike, but yeah, anyway. So last year, mm. She sent the internet into a meltdown with how she said microwave. Well, yeah. Microwave. 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 Yeah. Um, so she has been um, nominated for a must see moment award. Okay. In the BAFTAs. So she's up against people like Diversity when they did their Britain's Got Talent, um, Take the Knee, Dance okay. Routine. Uh -huh. um, she's up against Gogglebox for the commentary um, when Boris Johnson did one of his press conferences, which they are, to be fair, they are hilarious. They are. Good. They are hilarious. Just um, Boris Johnson talking makes me laugh. Yeah. I'm but angry. I have a feeling she's going to win this. I think she's she She's going to win it. So the, it's going to be decided by a public vote, um, and the, vote, the winner will be announced during the ceremony in June. Ooh. So she's kind of... It, it went into a complete meltdown. People assuming that that's how she said microwave, because she was so posh, that's how she says microwave. Um, but, you know, she said she was being sarcastic. Mm -hmm. However, she has since said that she actually does at home call it a microwave. -y. Microwave. 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 I think, I, I, do, we, do we have the, the clip of her saying microwave? But I still need a bit of milk, full fat, which I've warmed in the microwave. I love it. I love it. I personally think, I it's, think it's great. Do you pronounce words differently in your own home? Uh, mm, sometimes. Do you ever say, Maria Fria Joranton? Anything like that? <laughs> no? Ever say what? Maria Fria Joranton? Refrigerator. All oh, right, for you call yours a refrigerator, not a fridge. I'm posh. Full words for me. <laughs> full um, words for you. Full words for me. <laughs> yeah, there's all. No, never. Not really. What do you call what do you call the remote control? The remote control. <laughs> remote. Do you not have like a name for it? I, I mine's the doohickey. The doohickey. Yeah, where's the doohickey? Well, I have been known to call it a doofer. A doofer. Turn her over her. Doobree, they're saying in my ear. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Getting a so, yeah, so... <laughs> doobries, which is a... <laughs> I I I I can see I'm gonna vote like a million times. Not yeah. a million times, I, I'm I over exaggerating. No, knowing right. the people that watch the Brits. The Brits? The BAFTAs. The BAFTAs. Um, there'll be a lot of the gay vote in there. The gay vote in, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, well done, Nigella, for, for that. 
Yes, for that. Yeah. So let's move on to some musical news now. Okay. I know you're a massive fan of Little Mix, aren't you? You've got oh, posters on your bedroom walls, you've got the so bedding, big. you've got the little dollies, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a lie. <laughs> I, I like Little Mix. I, I like genuinely the music. like I wouldn't, them. Uh... What, you want, you want to have sex with them? Oh, I, I wouldn't pay to see them. <laughs> I've paid to see them, and they were good. They were good. Yeah. So after Jesse Nelson has left, so... Jesse's left? Yeah. Jesse's gone. Where did Jesse go? Last year. Well, who's Jesse? Je <laughs> Jesse's one of them. Was. <laughs> yeah, was one of them. Uh, she she was the one that didn't want to be there. <laughs> all right, she's on the left. So she's left, yeah. So she left because she kind of like said that she'd had enough of being in the spotlight, of all the pressure of being in a, in a girl band, that she her mental health needed to take priority. Mm -hmm. um, they're carrying on as a three-piece. Not a three-piece suit. <laughs> three-piece. <laughs> As a three-piece... Hello? A Why three... I have sort of image of, of a bucket of chicken? <laughs> I'll have three pieces of a bag of chips, please. <laughs> a three-piece group. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, we've got a picture of them here. So they've released a brand new song. Mm. Well, it's been lifted from their latest album. So they've rejigged it a bit. They put a rapper in it and it's all kind of... Like when Jerry left, left the Spice Girls and they just... Did her uh, parts with other girls? Yeah, they've kind of. Yeah, they've, I mean, oh, I, I do. I genuinely hope that they are on good terms. That it just, yeah. just generally did need to leave. I think we forget that originally, when they entered X Factor, mm -hmm. they went in a solo yeah. artist and they, were put they were together. Manufactured yeah, so it wasn't like they always artists. wanted to be in a girl band. Yeah. Um, but you know, history tells us girl bands. Mm, yeah. they, all, all recording artists eventually stop recording and releasing music. Any, anywho, they have released this single called Confetti, featuring Sawiti. Oh. I think that's how you say it. I'm that's how you're sure. going to say it. That's how I'm going to say <laughs> it. Um, but the awesome thing about it is they've got this video where they embrace their inner drag kings. So here's a picture of the three girls in the video dressed as, as themselves, ready to get their groove on. Mm -hmm. And then we have a picture of them channeling their drag king alter egos. And, I, you know, it's not the first time that Little Mix have kind of embraced LGBTQ culture. Okay. They've had other videos where they had William, Alaska, and Courtney. Willem. Willem, is it? Willem. Willem, yeah. Not um, William. William. <laughs> <laughs> not second in line to the throne. Prince William. William. Yeah. <laughs> in a big weave yeah. um, for the single of power. Do you remember that one, Mike? I do, yes. Do you remember the bit at the end? That's my favourite bit. Where they oh, go, when it finished. No, it's a bit harsh. at the end it goes motorbike, 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 bike, 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 woo! I like that. Um, so let's go. <laughs> I'm going to be in. I'm going to be. But I'm going to be the fourth member. Then I'm going to go back in. Move on. Move on. Move on. Okay. All right. Oh, now this one's a bit controversial. Okay. So we have appreciated Zac Efron on this show. I, I, I have appreciated have. him on the show, at home. At home, with your hand on your trousers, oh, all no. those oh, kind no of... trousers. No, just no trousers. No trousers. Completely trouserless. Trouserless, yeah, okay. in my pants. Um, and we've, we, you know, he's become a little bit of a daddy figure with mm -hmm. his roughy, tufty, beardy, weirdy... Not weirdy, but beardy look. But people on the internet have been being quite harsh about him. They're saying that they think... They've been picking on my Zach. They've been, pick, they've been picking on Zach because they think that he, he's had some, some work done okay. to his face. So he was doing something on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of like um, a, a charity concert thing on Facebook. And um, people leapt on the fact that he looked strange. So we've, we've got a picture here. Of. So that's what he looked like pre you know, a couple of years oh. ago on the left. That's how he appeared on Facebook. Now then, what mm. do you think? He's still Zac Efron. He looks like he's had some fillers. He looks like he's had something done, hasn't he? looks he? like he's just had a bit of filler done around his jawline, that's all. And to be fair, still have a go. Well, <laughs> would you? Yeah, still have a go. He's still... It's the eyes for me. He, he looks. It looks like Rob Lowe, the actor Rob Lowe. Okay. Uh, and I'm not. I'm not sure about it. You see, I'm, I'd still have a go on him. <laughs> if he had a bag over his head, you'd still have a go on it. Oh no, I wouldn't. I'd take the bag off. Oh, take the bag first. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's completely up to him what he does exactly. to himself. There is kind of rumours that he had um, an accident a couple of years ago where he was hit in the face with a golf club and has had to yeah. have some sort. of... <laughs> 
that old chestnut. Oh, yeah. I've had that one before. <laughs> oh, um, how did you get that black eye? Oh, I was hitting the face with a golf club. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's up to him what he does. Yeah. So, talking of celebs that have had a little bit of work done, mm -hmm. we've got some pictures here of celebrities before and allegedly after. So our first one is Tom Jones. So that's Tom Jones back in the kind of like late 70s. Uh -huh. That's Tom Jones now. They're saying, or they're, you know, the internet's saying that he's had, he spent $46,000 on his face having stuff done to it. Refund. Do you not think, I, that's, that looks fine to me. It, it looks fine, yeah, but if he spent money to look just a little bit older than he used to, Get they say me. plastic surgery is successful if it just makes you look like you've had a good rest. Let's move on. We've got Cher next. We, can, we cannot mention so that Cher back in the late 70s, early 80s. That's a face of Cher. That's, that's <laughs> one of the versions of Cher. That's, That'll yeah. probably be out of date now. It's yeah. taken yesterday. She, she apparently has, has spent $750,000 hairs on her face over the years. I can believe okay. it. A little bit more recent, uh -huh. we've got Nicki Minaj. So that's Nicki Minaj when she was back in high school. And then this is Nicki Minaj sort of now. But again, as long as she's happy with how she she's happy. Yes. And her face doesn't fall off when she's doing the shopping, who are we to judge? Or if it does, as long as she's happy and her face falls off, she goes, oh, I can put a different one on. Yeah, yeah. Come I'm off to the surgery this weekend to have my face made like a face. Oh, thanks for that, Lee. I just can't wait for them to find out how much work I've had done. Um, coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, what do Mike and ambulances have in common? They both take it in the back and go whoop whoop. It's over to Mike with the buzz. No, they go Nino Nino. I go whoop whoop. <sighs> mm. yeah, oh. I've been having a bit of a rubbish around the internet this week. To, to find some, some giggle-worthy stories, but this one's a little bit serious. All right, serious okay. face. So, serious face. Not, not having a stroke face. Okay. Um, and this is a story about two ladies who have had their passports taken off them. Is it because they've been naughty? They've been very naughty in Bali. Oh. Yeah? Um, because they've been painting masks on. <laughs> so... Um, Instead of walking around wearing a mask... Like you're supposed to. keeping everyone safe. Uh, Leah C decided that she was going to paint one on because then she'd be fine. That's a, that's a foolproof plan, that, isn't it? Not only does it look like she's been rimming a smurf, <laughs> you know, she's not keeping herself COVID secure. She's not. Um, <laughs> are these two ladies from, from the British Isles? So one is from Taiwan and the other one is Russian. Okay, and obviously they did not get away with this. They did not get away with it. The, the authorities came and snatched their passports off them and said, no, 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 naughty. But not their masks, because it was their faces. Yeah, well, they tried to pull the masks off, but <laughs> ended up ripping half the flesh from their oh, face. Oh, you know, you've got to love humanity, don't you? you well, you don't have to. You, but, it, you know, that's, that's, you know... Well, I mean, there's a, lot, there's a lot of effort gone into that, isn't there? there there's a lot of effort. Got to buy some, got to buy some Snazaru blue face paint, got to buy a brush, um, some water, just wear a bloody mask. Exactly, and to, to be fair, there's a lot of effort gone in. Yeah, to, you to know, make it look decent. Yeah, they could have, they could have gone, they could have like, made proper folds and stuff. That probably would have gotten through if they'd have made like <laughs> made ridges and folds and stuff. Yeah, and, some and not have mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, camouflage their nostrils <laughs> and their mouth. <laughs> I've never spoken to anyone because oh. since you open your mouth, it's yes, like, <gasps> can't, can't say anything. So, um, so have they been put in prison? They, they have been sent down. Have they really? In Bali, <gasps> yeah. That that'd be a lesson. Lesson to everybody. Face painters of the world. <laughs> <laughs> face painters of the world. For that, that'll be a lesson, you face painters. If you're gonna paint a face on somebody's face, make it look like a face. <laughs> Just stick to butterflies would be my, my <laughs> point there. Stick to making people look like tigers. Yeah, a sunset. Yes, on your face. a sunset. Not okay, Bob Ross to do your face. No, I love, <laughs> do you ever, have you never seen, the, uh, like if you go to like a, fair or something, mm. face painters, they always have a sunset. Sea, beach, sunset, oh. No. <laughs> Go 
going to just go over to the next story, I think. Let's do yeah. it. Um, and this is the exciting news that um, Harry Styles got stuck up my ass. Did he? So a gentleman called Kevin had a mishap with a carry... <laughs> A Harry Styles doll. Right, okay. I'm do right, because I wondered where this was going. I thought that was just like a random statement. <laughs> no, it wasn't just a, a random statement. Kevin was in his static caravan and had an accident with his, his Harry Styles commemorative doll. An accident. An accident. These accidents are terrible, aren't they? they? Are. Number of times everyone slips and falls. Slips and something falls and goes right up your poop shoe. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when it's been lubed and everything. Yeah. Was, yeah. was, was Harry Styles doll dressed? Um, was dressed, yeah. He was dressed. Was dressed, yeah. Oh. Uh, we've actually got the X-ray here. Oh. So you can actually see the the doll. Should we say deep inside him? That's far up, isn't that's, it? That's up there. That's right up there. <laughs> that's not um, coming out with a sneeze. Oh, that's not you know, just little tiny feet poking out of his starfish. Little tiny feet. <laughs> <laughs> they're not not sticking out. Were well, they not sticking out? Were they all the way in? Oh my goodness. Deep inside. So bachelor. Kev. Oh, actually. <laughs> yeah, actually. Kev okay. said he bought the the fourteen ninety nine doll from from a, a shop as a gift. How long ago? Because to be fair, the, the, the One Direction dolls are like five years old now. Yeah, um, but it was was a niece for part of a Christmas gift, so it was late last year for for his niece. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, he explained that he'd gone to to boil a brew. Boil a brew. Boil a brew. <laughs> boil a kettle for a brew. Right, left the doll on the sofa ready for wrapping and sat on it and it just went up. So it wasn't in a box, it wasn't. That's cheap, so, um, for starters. Um, but, but yeah. oh dear. So he, he basically, first thing he did, called an ambulance. Ambulance men came, see if they could retrieve it. Right? And <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is that the ambulance? It appears to have a small Harry Styles doll up my arse. You're coming round now, thank you, bye. Um, he did say to the ambulance drivers that it was definitely an accident and, quote, I swear on Harry's life. Was Harry available for a comment? <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, no. No. Um, however, he admitted this isn't the first thing that this has happened. <laughs> so, yeah. Have we got a picture of the doll now? Not now, no. It's like Witness little girl protected. holding for him. <laughs> <laughs> like pubes stuck to its face. <laughs> You're thinking about this too much, Lee. I am. I am. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shall we move on? Yeah. So in the past we've done food. We have. Yeah. Um, and we've done beans on Weetabix. Yes, delish. Yeah, you didn't enjoy it though. I did not. No, because you don't like beans. I do not like them. No. I don't appreciate a bean. Um, do you like cheese? Oh, you see, I like cheese. Good. Cheese does not like me. Okay, well, we're going to find some more about this in a second. But do you like Marmite? No. Do you like pastries? Yes. Good. So two out of three ain't bad, as the song says. <laughs> um, as Marks and Spencers are now selling a Marmite Mature Cheddar Pinwheel. A pinwheel? Pinwheel, yes. <laughs> How fancy. You have, to, you have to say it like that, it's Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> I would like a pinwheel. <laughs> you can't say Marks and Spencer's pinwheel, can you? No. They'll burn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, are Marmite kicking off about these? Um, no, they're in on it. They're in on it? They're in on it. They're in on it. They're in on it. Because Marmite, uh, I've worked with Marks and Spencer's before. Have they? Yes. Um, for hot cross buns. Ooh. Mm, Marmite hot cross buns. But... <gasps> How exciting do these look, Lee? You could have flushed that before you came in, just, Mike. Just gra grab one of these lovely buns. <laughs> grab one of your lovely buns? Grab one of my lovely buns. What's that white stuff on it? That's icing. Is it? It's icing, yes. It's not semen. It smells like mank. Take a, take a bite, see if you like it. No, I think you should take a bite first, because I don't trust that there is normal stuff in there. Okay. Do I have to bite a bit that's got a brown on it? Oh, just eat it. <laughs> just eat it! It's got raisins in it, hasn't it? Yeah. Ooh. That's why I only took a little bit out of the corner. Ooh. Not I'm more offended by the raisins. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. These have been so popular it took me seven days to find somewhere that had them. Did it. Right, and by the time I got there, they'd sold out. So these are just normal buns. Well, what was the point then? Hmm? 
just because I, I love the way that you always get a little bit concerned when I give you food in this section. Well, I don't like raisins. Neither do I. So let's just start, start there. Yeah. Um, if you, you'd have never said that they weren't Marmite, I would have gone, oh, don't really know, don't get the Marmite. No. 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 But sold out everywhere. Really popular at the minute. Okay. Yeah. People have got very empty lives, haven't they? They have indeed. They're watching this show. They are. Um, well. And if you want to send us something, just have a look for at the Could TV on your ever-present social media platforms. And that's exactly what Lorraine from London did. And I'd love to share it with you now, but it contained Boris Johnson's phone number. So instead, let's move on to our story of the week. Now, Lee, life accomplishments. We have many. Mm -hmm. What's the pinnacle of yours? Oh, just just existing. Just existing just is an accomplishment Just managing to breathe you. every second. Every second. And not keel over. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're having a bit of trouble with that fruit there, Lee. <laughs> like, oh. A little bit, a little bit chewing, a little bit chewing on the side of my face. Yes. <laughs> well, a gentleman called Gareth Wilde, right, has finished his magnum opus. Has he? Yes. And has completely parked his car in all 211 parking spots of his local Sainsbury's. I don't know what's offending me more. <laughs> okay. Is that, that he's done that, mm. or that he's from the car window going, Rock on! I just... And it took him six years. Oh, for God's sake. So every time he went to do his shopping, it's at Sainsbury's, he used to park in a different spot until he marked every single one off. Right. How? Pissing on it? <laughs> no, he had a little sheet. Oh, he had a shower? Okay, that makes more <laughs> sense. <laughs> Yeah, just like the sheet. Yeah. No, I haven't marked this one. No. Um, <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. So for the last six years, he, he's kept he a spreadsheet. Does he um, have a partner? <laughs> is he single? Surprisingly, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me just have a quick scan. Nope. No. Nope. Um, it doesn't say whether he's married or anything, but he did do it on a spreadsheet and actually mapped out everything as well. We did just sort of like start it one day and go, oh, I've parked in every spot. He planned it. Did you have a party at the end? He, he, got, he tweeted about it. Oh, OK. It's about it, really. Right, OK, and well, well done. Yeah. Got picked up by, by reputable newspapers like The Guardian. OK, is he, what's he going to do next? I don't know. What is, is, what is, is this it, to do? He might as well just call it a day. He's achieved everything in life. Yeah. <laughs> I've done this. Yeah. There's no need for me to exist anymore. Exactly. <laughs> Falling into the void. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all for the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. That was stimulating. Didn't even touch it, but stay tuned, as after this comes our life lesson. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we thrust ourselves into this week's... Life lessons. There'll be no thrusting yourself into this. Oh, I don't know. You give me something Pyrex. Burn your valand. Anyway, so we're going to do something culinary today. I'm doing what? Culinary. Uh, okay. Mm. So um, on the internet, mm. right? You know the millennials. Millennials. The millennials. Like yeah. Um, they've invented their own foods. Yeah. Using foods that already exist. You do, you do know that I'm a millennial, technically, right? I don't know what it means. So any, <laughs> anyone who was 18 or under at the turn of the millennium is a millennial. So that's me. Okay. All I've got in my head is Robbie Williams singing Millennium. Okay. So we're going to make mm. millennial lasagna today. Oh. oh. So... In front of you, mm -hmm. you will have all the accoutrements to make millennial lasagna. I have. So you have um, a Pyrex dish. I do. Mm -hmm. You have some um, fish fingers mm -hmm. in a bowl, yeah. Now these are pre-cooked. Oh, okay. Um, in America, they're called fish sticks. They are. But in England, fish sticks are something different. Mm. Mm. They're all yum, yum, yum. Um, you've also got some potato waffles. Uh -huh. Potato waffles. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Um, we have some- I eat these too. No, that, they're frozen. You can't eat no. those yet. Not yet. Um, we've got some cheese. 
I like cheese. Yeah, cheese. Uh, we've also got um, a, a tin of um, um, spaghetti hoops. Oh, mm. spaghetti hoops. Now, the original recipe um, called for beans. I don't do beans. Hoops so, works too. So I've, I've, I've substituted. Okay. So, what you, we have, our hands are clean. We yeah. have washed them. We have. We have washed them previously. So, first of all, the first layer mm -hmm. is your fish fingers. Okay. So, you take your fish fingers and you lay them in a, in a line. Okay. Across the bottom. Uh, uh, why are you throwing them in like that? I'm, I'm arranging gonna, them. It's not going to look pretty. There you go. You sit in a line. There you go. Because you know what they say, you also eat with your eyes. I eat with my hands and my face. <laughs> so, yeah. You place them in. Yeah, they're in. Are yours in? Are you happy with the I am. arrangement of them? Yep. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna add a bit of moisture. Ooh. Ooh. Like a bit of moisture. Bit of moisture. So get your tin. Um, conveniently nowadays, who knew? You don't need a tin opener. They, no. they, they self open with a thing in But I can't open these without spoons. Oh. I have a deficiency with these things. Did you know the top tip? Apparently, when you're cooking. Uh huh. And you've got a tin, if you've got like a mucky spoon, you know, yeah. there's nothing worse putting a mucky spoon on your surface. Oh, Ooh. I hate it. You can do that. <gasps> mm. is, is now that... get this mucky spoon out without getting your fingers mucky. Push it up. Yeah. Take it out. That's more effort. Just wipe the surface down afterwards. Oh, whatever. So, um, now, these are brand um, spaghetti hoops. So their juice is slightly more liquidy than... Ah. Uh... Dirty, dirty boy. Um, so I'm gonna say oh. spoon uh -huh. the um, spaghetti hoops in a layer over your fishy fingers. Oh, this is, have a bit of class, Mike. Have a bit of, you know, cause this is gonna last 12 minutes. <laughs> just pour it all on. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm delicately, uh, oh you dirty boy. What? So, that's your kind of, that's your moisture layer. Wow. I'm saving a little bit of moisture because you, 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 you never know when you might need it. You, you never know when you need it. You never know when you're going to need a bit of moisture. moisture. Yeah, so yum, 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 yum. Okay. Um, you can add, you know, because there's no, there's no hard and set fast rules for this. You can put whatever you want in it. You want to put, if you want to put a sausage in it, perhaps a, perhaps a wiener. Ooh, what would be really nice in the middle of this? A lovely poached egg. Oh, no. Oh, what do you mean, no? <laughs> no, I don't like that idea. What? what? <laughs> Have a little well and pop an egg in it. And I, don't, I don't like it, Mike. You're just making it, you're just, to go, you're making it, right, no. So now what you've got to do is um, get some cheese. Yeah. And you want a layer of cheese. Okay. Over the top of your... That, what? I'm watching to see if it's going... On the thing. It's going on the thing. Layer of cheese. Layer of cheese over the top of your hoops. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Use your fingers. Now, I like a lot of cheese. Yeah, me too. I like a lot of cheese. I also like to cut the cheese um, as well. Mm. So, once you've got a layer... Uh-huh. That's a very... That's a meagre layer. There's a lot of cheese has come out of this bag. Oh, okay. Then you're going to um, the next layer is waffles, potato waffles. Mm. I'm trying very hard not to say the brand name. It's very difficult. Because you, you want to say potato <laughs> waffles, waffles and waffle versatile. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So you get your potato waffles. We put the cheese down. Cheese. And um, place those. Yours in OK? Yeah. yeah. Right. Have you used all your um, skate hoops? Mm. This is why you should... Nope. This is why you should have saved a little bit, just to kind of drizzle on the top, because we're, we're looking for aesthetics as well. Ooh. <laughs> so is this something we could put in the, the microwave? No. It has to be baked in the... in the... Ovion. Ovion. <laughs> yeah. Or the kukia. In the kukia. Yeah. Um, be basically because I think if you put it in the microwave, it would probably go manky. Manky? Like, yeah, like, um... So, 
there, we've got, you know, a bit, bit more moisture. Then a bit more cheese, Mike. I like that bit. A bit more cheese. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle that on top. Oh, on top of the thing. Yeah, on top of, on top of the thing. Not so inside me. A good... Um, <laughs> I'm not talking about baby bells, Mike. I do that one time at a party. There we go, all ready to go into the oven. Um, relatively high, not too low. Have a look at mine. Should we have a look at your pud? Lovely. Um, you put it in the oven, gas mark something. In my loving oven. In your loving oven, okay. yeah. And until, for about what if, I don't have, what if I don't have a gas oven? Uh, that's not my problem. Okay. Work that out yourself. Um, until, for about half an hour, okay. until all the cheese melts, goes a little bit bubbly and, and goldeny brown, and then you can get it out. Now, I would rest it for about five minutes. Okay, got to rest so, it too. Yeah, rest it just so that, so that the juices can coagulate a little bit. That's, it, not, that's not food language. <laughs> Let the juices coagulate. Yeah. That's not, no. You don't, you don't want, you, well, you don't want to take a mouthful of millennial lasagna and... Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> and um, burning hot juice on your chin. <laughs> I have I have made one earlier. Oh, shall, shall I reveal it? Please do reveal it. <gasps> oh, look! Oh, look at that. That's impressive. So, would you like to try some, Mike? Yeah. So, I'm going to cut you. Mm. You're gonna cut me? I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut you a little sliver so okay. you can taste it to see. Now, oh, it's it's firm. It's firm, Mike. Okay. Oh, excuse your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have that piece because I put my fingers on it, and they have been up my bum. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna pass it across to you. It is still slightly warm. Oh. Oh, because I prepared it this very morning in my loving oven. So, huh. shall we shall we try it? Yeah, you first. Take all the take a layer of everything. Oh, um <laughs> uh, fish, <laughs> potato, cheese, mmm, all good. Hula hoops, not hula hoops, spaghetti hoops. <laughs> oh hello. Hello. Just end the show now. I'm eating this. Okay, I'm going to have a, a little little go on this. No. Individually, all winners. Together, no. I can't believe you spat that out on the plate. There's children in Cleethorpes that would... Send it to them. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, send it to them. Well, it's got your slabbery bits on it now. They're not that hungry then, are they? Well, I think it's delicious and you should try it because it's yummy. Well, that thankfully brings us to the end of this week's show. You've got just enough time to say find us on your social media platforms. Just look for The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And while you're there, have a look at our support section for extra content, including outtakes. Thank you for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.